All right, hello everyone. Today we're gonna to need a pair of lightweights, maybe fives or sevens, uh, a single medium weight for like a single arm clean and press, maybe 10 or 12, and then a single heavy weight, like a 20, 25, 30, for things like deadlifts and sumos. So let's get the music going and let's get started. Okay, so we're warm up, we're tight, we're just starting with light swings. We're using your glutes quite a bit today. Feel free to hold on to your cord, or if you need extra support, hold on to the wall for balance. I know it's fine, we're going to engage the whole time. Just trying to warm up, get the glute beads activated, the side bumps. We'll be all kinds of different moves today. And of course, while I do have a plan in place, if you requests in particular, feel free to put it in the chat and I'll check in during the water break. And three, two, switching sides. Make sure I feel like your knees or side bumps. Just warm it up. If you have any requests, again, put it in the chat. If not, I do have a plan in place. I'm happy to make adjustments on the fly. And three, two, one. Next, we're going to go for a back lunge to a knee hug. So here's one knee up the glutes and an hip flexor. So back lunge a little bit and come in and hug the knee. Back lunge, hug the knee. We turn one for hip flexor, one for glute. Just a couple more here. We're up and hug the knee. We're trying to get your glutes stretched and active. Stretch. And three, two, and one, switching five. So back lunge, hug that same knee. Back lunge, let's get a little bit of balance. So again, try to warm up that front knee and warm up that opposite glute. And reach. Three, two, and one out for our heart. We can lift skaters. Nice and easy. And reaching down. A little bit of extra movement, a little bit of cardio. You're in our heart rate. Up there. Three, two, and one, back with leg swings. Put the heart rate up a little bit. Go to swing out, swing behind, out to the side. And knee support, use the wall. If you're in the wall, or if you're challenge recording, that's fine too. Three, two, one, two sides, two legs. So 20 seconds here. Ten more seconds. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back up. Back lunge and knee hug. So back lunge. Hug that knee in. Back lunge. Hug the knee in. Is this a warm up? We're going to have to go all the way down to so a full lunge on the floor. Just go enough just to feel some tension you need. And your hip flexor. So back lunge, hug the knee. Back lunge, hug the knee. Turn to warm up the hip flexor and your glute. 10 more seconds on this side. And three, two, two big sides. So back lunge, hug the knee in. Make sure we're up our knee, more for a hip, and stretch your glute a little bit. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, back to skaters, just 25 seconds. Starting in three, two, and one. Warm up our heart rate. Get some blood flow. Up 
Chest fly. We have two options here. We can. Can you go for regular chest fly from the floor, from the weight of our chest, or if you want some extra tension or extra work, 
You're gonna hold the hip bridge the whole time. So breathing in, breathing out. I'm gonna go for 12 more. We're 15 total. Go for as many as little as you like. Again, here, into your thighs a little bit. Make sure it's above your chest, not above your face. And don't push the weight to be up here. Put your face above your chin. You want it above your chest the whole time. Five more for me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Here, we're going to flip over to the side, over side plank and twist. You can do this with a weight or without a weight. I'll show you both. So here, breathing with the weight, opening up, coming in. Without, you can just ditch it and open up. You can also modify it by having the knee bent. This is going to be time based. You have 25 more seconds. Go for as many or as little as you can. If all those are too much, just hold the side plank. You don't have to do a twist if you don't want to. 15 more seconds. In three, two, and one. Switching sides. Starting in three, two, 30 seconds here. Breathing in, breathing out. We have about 15 seconds left. Breathing in, breathing out. In four, three, two, and one. Back that chest block. Squeeze down, like face up. We have two options. We hold the hip bridge, we just have it down the whole time. I'm starting in three, two, and one. I'm going for 15. We go for as many or as little as you like. Even here with my hips up the whole time, I want to keep it above my chest, not above my face, above my chest. 13 more, 13, 12, 11, we're going to breathe. Inhale as we come in, exhale as we close. 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, keep going. Two, and one. Right back into side plank and twist. Starting in four. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Down and open up. Breathing in, breathing out. We have 25 more seconds. So here, opening up. Now, if you're on the weight, that's okay. You can just reach past your armpit. You're going to open up as much as you can. You're going to squeeze back your shoulders. 15 seconds. And three, two, switching sides. Starting in three, two, and one. Good, and four, three, two, and one. Last time on the chest slide. Ready to do it. Starting in four, three, two, and one. Breathing in, breathing out one, and two, three, four. We should a lot of blood flow. Five to our chest and shoulders. Six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last time, side plank and twist. Starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that lightweight if you have it. If not, 
Body weight's okay. And here, opening up. Breathing in, breathing out. If you find it's too much, you can also bend your knee. You can also dish the weight and just go for body weight. 12 more seconds. 12, 11, 10, and 5, 4, 3, 2, switching sides. Starting at 4, 3, 2, 25 seconds. Let's go. Going, you have 10 seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake off those lines. We're gonna need them. <laughs> and we're gonna go for a quick water break. Oh, are we gonna quick water break? For next one, if you have a box or bench, let's use it. If you don't, that's okay. You don't need one. You can use your own body weight. We're going to do single arm heavy ropes with your heaviest weight and some pistol squats. If you have a box or a bench, great. If you don't, do your best in the chair or just nothing at all and try with just body weight for the pistol squats. All right, let's get into it. We're going to start with the rows. Grab your 20, 25, 30, 35, whatever you have lying around. We're going to go for 12 aside. Let's do 12 aside. We're going to go into those pistol squats. If you don't, if you don't feel comfortable doing pistol squats, a wall sit and a single leg kick is okay. So rows, heavy one, starting in four. Three, grab your heavy slate, two, and one. Four, you can also use your body weight in this. That's fine too. Three, four, or a wall. I luckily have a bench, so I'm going to use a bench. Two and one, switch. Other side. You're gonna go the heaviest weight you can muster. 12 here, one, two. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Perfect, now if you have a box or bench, use it. I'm gonna show you the wall variation first. If you hear any wall, it's fine. If you want. Go for a kick out or a single leg hold. If you want to just hold it out, use that one leg, that's fine too. Those who have a box, a bench, or a chair, 10 just as squats, starting now. Those on the wall, keep doing the wall the whole time. And one, two, three, try to come up and down as best you can. When you find you're struggling, you can put that heel down. You use it for assistance, that's fine too. Three more pistol squats for me on my right side. Two more. Two, and one, other side. Doing the wall sit, keep doing the wall sit the whole time, either stick one leg and hold it, or alternate. So whatever you're able to do, so a chair, a box, a bench. Of course, the more you stick your leg out, the harder it is. I have four more to go. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Back on those rows. You can use just your body weight. That's fine like this. You can use a bench. You can also use the wall. Whatever you want. All right, rows. Starting in three, two. One, and rows. Five, six, six. 10, 11, and 12. On this side. And one, two, three. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Shake it off. Back on those pistol squats, 
Or use the walk through lots of kickouts. All right, starting in four, three, two, and one. Four to go for me. Four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it off. Other side. You're going to walk to the hold. Feel so free to stick one leg out and hold just that one leg. Go ahead an extra challenge on one side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, these are easy. Eight, nine, and ten. Shake it off. One last time. Heavy rows. Starting in four, three, two, and one. One, two, three. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Other side. One, two. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Shake it off. Physical sponsor Walson, are you lost with this last one? All right, for 40 seconds of kickouts, you can do whatever you like. Starting now. So you're just holding it or alternating those kickouts. You can also plant your leg and hold this leg out if you want. You have 20 seconds left. Keep going. So whatever you're doing, single leg kickouts. Or pistol squats on the boxing bench if you have it. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it up. Next, we're going to go for a deadlift. Grab your 20, 25, 30, and get your hips this way again. I'm using a 35. Use whatever you have lying around. Part of deadlift, I'm going to show you two deadlifts from two different sides. Here the cues I want you to focus on. Keep your shoulders back, keep planted. As we go down, my shins are straight the whole time. At no point do I do this. My knees are back, and I push through my hips to come up. We're starting in three, two, and one. I'm going to go for 15. Two, three. You can go for as many. Four or as little five as you like. Go check some people's forms. Excellent, really good job. Keep those shins straight. Keep those shoulders back the whole time. Got nine more to go. Keep it for as many or as little as you like. Seven, six, five. Take shins straight, shoulders back. Four, three, two, and one. From here, we're going for a single arm clean. Grab your foot later, weight your 10, your 12. We're going for a single arm clean and press. All these things 12, you use whatever you have lying around. Starting in three, two, and one. Two, three, four. Now I'm going for 12. You can go for as many or as little as you like. We're halfway. Seven. Nine. Push. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Other side. Starting now. And two. Three, 
four, five, breathing in, breathing out, nine, ten, left, twelve, and shake it off, back on the deadlifts. So you're gonna go for 12, sorry, not 12, 15. For right, everyone to really focus on their form. Take your shoulders back, my shins are straight, my shoulders are back, my core is pulled in. As I go down, my shins are straight the whole time. And as I push, my hips go straight through. So my shins are in line with the dumbbell. At no point do they squat. All through the hips. Let me check some of those forms. Excellent guys, they're really good. If you want, it helps even push those knees out just a touch. Turn on those glute knees and hamstrings. Keep going. I'll do nine more. And thank you to those who are on camera. You guys are doing great. Excellent form. I appreciate the energy. Keep going. I got four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Back on, those so single arm pin-up presses. Back in 10, you're 12. Starting in three, two, and one. And press. Two, three. Breathe in as you come down, exhale as you push. Six. Seven, eight, 10, 11, and 12. Other side. And one, two, three. Set, ready to breathe. Eight, four more to go. Four, three, two, and one. Back on the deadlifts one last time. Really good form, those are on camera. Excellent guys are pros. Let's do 15 of those. Three, two, knees out, shoulders back, and one. Make shin straight the whole time. But don't lock your knees. Just keep your shins straight. Your knees can bend a bit. Well, as long as they bend, so your hips are going back, and your knees aren't going forward. I right, ten more to go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Shake it off last time. See what I'm going to press. Really working those shoulders. Starting in three, two, and one. Press one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, four more, four, three, two, and one. Teaching sides for me. And push, one. And give yourself just a tiny break in between. You just have to switch weights. Breathing in as we come in, exhale as we push. Eight, four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, grab some water. Shake it off.
Uh, next time we have a bunch of core, but if you have any requests aside from core, feel free to put them in the chat while we take this water break. The next step is a bunch of core. All right. We're not going to waste the next couple of minutes. All body weight and spirit. <laughs> so here on our mats, we're going to start off easy with some bicycle kicks. Then we're going to flip over, go for some air crawls, and some tricep push-ups. We'll start those bicycle kicks though. So here, going up, fingers behind your ears. I'll be going for 50, five zero. Five zero. You can go for as many or as little as you like. Starting in three, two, and one. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. And fifty. We've seen that. We're going to flip over, go over some bear crawl. And it looks like when I go on our toes, we're going to go into our hands, I'm going to lift my knees off the ground, and just going to start kicking my heels back. If this is too much, I can show you some alternatives. But right here, hands planted, toes on the ground, knees up, kicking your heels to the sky. This is going to work our glutes and our core. Now, if that's too much, you can't just dish. The core part of it, and this is the glute kickback. If you find your wrists are having a hard time, don't force it, just go for the kickbacks. 25 more seconds. Again, work on our core and our glutes the whole time. We're going to breathe through your stomach. We have 15 seconds left. If it's too much, your wrists are having a hard time, just go for the kickbacks, that's fine too. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, my personal favorite, we're going to throw your line face. Always a good one. Line face up. Make sure no obstacles in your way. Put your thumb up. Hands up stretch. Legs up, side to side. Working those obliques and those transverse abdominal muscles. While they may not be visible, they're important. That's 10. We're going to move up to do 10 more. So I'm going for 20. You go for as many as you like. So here, I'm going for 50, 5, 0. You can go for as many or as little as you like. Starting in 3, 2, and 1. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Woo. All right, push it over. Back on two. Kick back. So on our wrist. Four tight. 34. Three, two, knees up, and one. Kick them back. Try to keep those knees just off the ground. If you need to bring them down, see if my wrists are having a hard time, that's okay too. You want to make it extra hard? Keep with these maybe an inch or two just barely hovering above the ground. 20 more seconds. In four, three, two, 
And one. Excellent. Flipping over. Back with windshield wipers. All right. And one. And two. Ten more for me. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. That's twenty for me. Here. Reload that one more time. So nine my bicycle kicks. Five zero. Like I said, quite a bit of core with a strip ball circuit. So starting in four, three, two, and one. Ten. Twenty. We're going to breathe through your stomach the whole time. Thirty. 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 50. Woo. All right, flipping over. Last time, those kickbacks. Starting in 4, 3, 2, knees up, and 1. A little bit of good action as well. 30 more seconds. We're going to breathe your stomach the whole time. Because your knees just above the ground. Push those heels to the sky. And five, four, three, two. Very last time, my chill wipers. We're going to record a slight break. All right, starting in five. Four, hand up stretch. Three, two, really use that core. Legs up, side to side. That was ten, we do ten more. Good, shimmy up. Ten more to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quick water break. We are the last two exercises. So here, we're using a little mean. <laughs> we're going to go for tricep push-ups and tricep holds. We're going to do, we're going to go for five tricep push-ups, then a five-second hold, five tricep push-ups, five-second hold, five tricep push-ups, five-second hold. So that's 15 push-ups in 15 seconds of holding. We're just going to chop right through it. If you don't believe in yourself, believe that I believe in you. Let's do it. <laughs> you can also screw your knees if you find it's hard from your toes. But here, five tricep push ups and a five second hold. Elbows locked in, hands underneath your shoulders, starting in four, three, big breath, two, remember to breathe, one, and down, all the way down, all the way up, one, chest to ground, elbows tucked in, two, three, four. And five, now lower to the ground, right here, and hold it, five, four, three, hold it, hovering, two, one, go down to the ground, shake it off very quickly, now five more, five, push, down, four, three, push, two, push, one more, one, now slowly lower down, 
and five. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. And here, down the ground, shake it off quickly. And five more. Five, push. Four, four, three, two, one. Down, down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. Woo. Now, go your own pace. That was too fast. That's okay. We shake off those triceps. That was not easy. We're going to flip over, do some hip press, do the tricep just one more time. So flip the over. Hands are going to go back. You need to go for a reverse crunch or a hip thrust. Either one's fine. So here, core tight, lifting up. If that's too much, just go for a nice slow reverse crunch for your core. That's it. I told where to go. You can go for as many as those you like. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Breathing in. Breathing in. Three. Two. And one. Now we're gonna try some fun. One last time, shake it off, get those arms ready. I believe in you. I'm gonna go a little slower because I noticed that I went a bit fast last time. So I'm gonna slow it down a bit. If you want to go faster, feel free to blaze ahead and hold those those five seconds. All right, starting in four, three, elbows tucked in, two, and one. Down, and one. Down all the way to the ground. And two, we're gonna go in a sudden slower pace. And three, go as fast, go as slow. Four, as you want. And five, now going down, holding it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get a quick shake off of your arms. Five more, starting to go down. Five, push, four, push, three, push, two, Push, one, push. Now holding it and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up and five more. Are you ready? Three, two, and press. One, and two, three, four. That's your harder slower. <laughs> and five. Shake it off. All right, lowering in three, two, and one. Holding it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake off the legs. All right. High punch over. We're going for a nice great stretch. All right, feet together, pull it in. We're gonna stretch your triceps after. That wasn't that wasn't easy. It's actually harder, slower for me. We're gonna pull it as best we can. Go for a nice groin stretch. And three, two. One, one leg out, one leg in. Great, these are trying to make two, especially the deadlifts. One thing of note for those right here, I am getting an email soon of the February schedule. It should come on Friday. So I'm gonna look out for that email. Because some of the class times are changing. Not this one, this one's the same. But some of the class times are changing, so definitely look out for that. Switching sides. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Ready to come up, go for a second groin stretch. Here as wide as you can. Thank you all for also watching this later.